Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, this is Kieran with Explorminate, and this is Shallow Space. So, uh, the other video I kind of showed off the skirmish mode, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, I think I was a little quiet in that, my apologies. Uh, there wasn't a lot to say, just because I was like still trying to figure out what was going on, but let's go to the hangar, because that's a little easier, maybe. If you have it, though. Um... You can just see how pretty the game is when you're actually fighting stuff. So, here we have the hangar. So, the game is based around these, uh, it appears to be based around these different ship sizes. So, right now I have all selected. No idea what satellites are. No idea what that is. Probably structure, sensor, those are guesses. You've got small ships. So, a uh, mini Taka Corvette. I don't know the name all. Anyway, so Corvettes. If you got large, which are like destroyers and cruisers. Not actually sure what the difference is between these. This one's faster, the cruisers are slower. Cruisers, so cruisers are tougher than destroyers, it looks like, by a little bit. Uh, so those are large size. Then you've got I don't know size. And then you've got extra large, which seem to be battleships. So, um, let's just start off with my favorite, this guy. It looks pretty cool. So here's the ship. This is his layout. He's got these different grids so he can do support modules or turret weapons. Unfortunately, there's not a lot when it comes to support modules right now. He basically can improve the radius and the energy. Now, energy, no real reason for it. Um, battery, on the other hand, seems to be useful. It'll allow you to put more stuff on there. I guess I could put shield extenders down there that <laughs> we can do that so um, if you look over here these values are changing as I'm hovering over the different modules so this adds 130 uh, energy to uh, what's usable I guess it doesn't show what it's out of right there um, and then this adds 250 shield points at the reduction of 10 energy if we were to drop on whole armor instead it's 300 hits, but it slows you down. So I guess you gotta choose do you want fast ships or slow ships. I'll just choose ships for now. Um, and then we have some choices for weapons. We have a pulse phaser, a gatling gun, a real gun, and a, pl a pul pulse plasma. These are all large ratings, they're different sized ratings. Let's throw a real gun on right there. Let's throw on pulse plasma right there. And uh, we'll do another railgun for fun. So I see it actually arms. If I were to replace that with a Gatling gun, that would change. Um, again, there's not a lot of just, I mean, they say no description. This is a turret, that's a turret, that's a turret. Uh, they're all turrets, I guess. Um, I thought maybe I was talking about because some things are fixed or not. It does tell you what kind of weapon damage, though. So this is kinetic, this is energy. Uh, I assume, since blue is energy and red is kinetic, that corresponds with if it does more damage to shields or uh, hull. Probably some kind of modifier, but it's it's vague at best on that right now, but that's completely fine, right? This game just came out early access, so don't expect a finished product at all, but it's great to see there's already all these stats right there that I can see that mean something. Um, Actually, they might. It might tell you. I'm looking down there. Shield DPC towards the bottom. There's hole, shield and hole. Um, let's compare a plasma that does like on 10.9 per second to shield, as opposed to this does. Well, that's just more because it's a railgun. Firing cycle one second. 10.8 seconds. Interesting. Okay, but they do also have like turn speed, minimum range. Might be a maximum range down there too. Can't really scroll down there. Oh yeah, you can. I'm lying. Maximum range. Oh wow, 43 kilometers. Okay, cool. So railgun has that. Pulse is more. So there's a lot of stats that are going to matter as this game gets developed, right? I mean, they matter now, but I'm sure more will be added, and these will be more apparent. Um. Also, so you don't just get to choose which shiny guns or whatnot go on here. You have these little color specs. Um, so right now this is my like 
green and shiny one if we want to make that really shiny or really well is that more or less shininess I can't quite tell that seems to be a lot more shiny to me oh I really can't tell all right anyways so you can mess with this uh, around just the overall uh, what's that metalness and shininess so that's kind of cool you've got more of a white because it's less metal or more metal I'm unsure Anyhow, so there's a lot of cosmetic changes. You got this color wheel, so if I want to just make this thing fugly, that actually looks like a color palette from something. I just don't know what. So there you have that. Now tip. Um, it took me forever. I was trying to figure out like how do I save this? How to make a new one? Unnamed ship. You got to click right here. So you can see that. Click here, then you name it. Name the ship, and then you hit save. Ship configuration. Saved. Great. And so now, if I filter this by large, I can see I have named the ship, a railgun cruiser, a camel crest cruiser, phaser cruiser. Messed around a little bit. Okay. Not sure what we just did there. Something got clicked. Wanted to do new. Hmm. Oh, so that's just making a new shape. So here's a destroyer, nice, right? Uh, let's go up to the battleships real quick. We'll go to the Cambridge battleship hole. This guy is not going to be this color anymore. <laughs> All right, that's not necessarily prettier. Battleships, you can see, have a lot more health. Those the name battleship, right? Those have different slots, so they have extra large rail guns and r large rail guns or extra large phaser pulse cannons I'll call them uh, and yada 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 still the same uh, pretty basic support modules but you can kind of do a lot with that I don't know duplex scanner really just jack up my scanning range like a lot I can see forever but then that maybe doesn't matter so but that is useful range right so potentially that could be useful or you could just uh, stick a ton of batteries on here or some shield extenders some additional whole armor stuff like that it's altering its speed so these stats are all altered um, so you could design the ships based around these holes that they have and I'm, I'm guaranteeing you that they're gonna have more holes before this game's done based solely on the fact that you have medium large blank <laughs> extra large and these two are grayed out. This seems to be satellites, maybe stationary structures. I don't know. This would be cool. Like uh, orbital platforms with guns on them or something. Sensors. Who knows what exactly. Well, the devs do. Uh, but that's the basics of ship creation. So um, it's encouraging to me to see, one, that these models are so beautifully rendered. Um, two, that you can just customize the crap out of these um, there does only seem to be whoa uh, no <laughs> okay I was gonna revert the theme there does only seem to be this like uh, striped pattern but I again I would assume they're gonna give us more hole markings it seems silly to the way this is presented it would seem silly if there's not again I, I don't take a lot of the I think there are is promises right I just became aware of this game per this week um, which I hate to say because this game excites the crap out of me uh, but it seems like they could easily add more so those are the basics right now ship creation uh, it's kind of fun it's really easy um, and I think it's gonna be a lot more of a numbers game which I like since it's an RTS ish game um, that that's what you're messing with that everyone kind of has the same base but you can have a lot of difference there let me real quickly to also show if we were to look at these little corvettes you've got fixed weapons that's pretty that little decal there with the teeth uh, fixed still maybe they're all fixed okay so short or fixed so that's just um, this guy can move around not enough energy really Okay, there we go. 
these turrets are fixed right there because it's a it's a little ship right it doesn't have uh the movable points but that's gonna matter with its maneuverability and stuff so anyway that won't belabor it i'm sure if you're watching this you have an idea of how space combat probably would work you've played games with it and stuff um but this looks like it's gonna offer uh, just a lot of cool stuff whether it's three-dimensional space combat to the fact that the game looks as pretty as really anything i've seen recently so that's it for now thanks for watching guys um stay tuned for more videos as uh they release more uh, uh patches and, and things which i'm confident they will that's how early access happens right um so as more comes out i will try to share more but uh let me know what you think if you're as excited as i am about these or more it's possible maybe i, I might challenge you on that but